Okay, I'm going to close that panel, move down to white balance. White balance is obviously straightforwards. Um, you can choose as shot. You've got a number of options, cloudy, daylight, flash, fluorescent, shade, tungsten, or you can create your own custom, or you can just start to slide around the color balance manually from cooler to warmer, uh, light with the Kelvin temperature scale that we've got here. And you can also adjust your tint from more magenta to more green uh, in one direction, more magenta in the other direction. Now, um, when we're talking about the um, color balance and uh, white balance, you can also choose to use the information at the bottom here for picking a neutral part of your image or picking a neutral gray tone on a color checker card or measuring the data on the image. I will come to that when I get down to the bottom uh, settings on the bottom of the interface. So moving on to Capture Sequencer. Capture Sequencer is a, uh, an area where you can uh, apply if you're doing interval shots for time-lapse photography with a tethered camera, or if you want to set in uh, predetermined uh, aperture bracketing. So you can set in the amount of exposure bracketing, the order of the exposure bracketing, uh, and the amount of compensation, etc., in exposure you want to make on that bracketing, as well as pre-delays and uh, a number of other things. And you can create uh, and save additional um, settings here as well, create additional shutter offsets, aperture offsets as well. Not something that I use very often, uh, but um, for those people that may want to use their cameras for time lapse, uh, for sequences, that sort of thing, uh, that's a useful uh, panel in the capture sequencer.